I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got to find the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. CC the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. EP high, I ride the old block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. I so we back with another video. Today, I got y'all boys with a special video. Now, Merry Christmas, off rip. There's gonna be multiple things within this video for y'all boys for Christmas. So, if you see a code, it may be for Xbox, it may be for PlayStation. If you see the code that fits your stuff, try to enter it, you may be able to get some. It should be multiple for each one. Now, with that being said, today we're gonna be giving y'all the best animations for everything. So, no matter what you're looking for, jump shots, drill moves, dunks, it does not matter. Everything all in this one video. Wanted to give y'all something special for the people that's getting the game for Christmas. Whether you already had the game or not, it don't really matter. Just to get y'all this out. Now, the video I did have planned for today was the fast way to hit 99. And I was going to do something like I'm doing in this video. Giving y'all everything as detailed as possible in this video. Like a compilation video with everything in it. But it's going to be for 99 overall. So if y'all do want that, make sure to show the support by liking the video. Subscribe if you're new. But without further ado. No more talking. Let's just hop into it. Alright, so first things first is going to be the shot time and visual cues. So instead of me explaining how they work, I'm gonna actually throw in what Mike Wang says or how they work. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. All right, so with that being said, the shot time and visual cue I personally use is set point for majority of my jump shots. So I blend my releases to be able to use set point. Now, I'm gonna go over certain things on based off how I use, but if you guys are struggling to get like contested, if you like getting contested more than you wanna get contested, I'm gonna give you guys the best releases for that, to speed your jump shot up, I'm gonna give you the best releases for that, all that in this video, so just stay tuned. All right, so let's hop into it. Let's start it off with the swing jump shots. Um, these are the most popular builds in the game. It only, it's only right. So, when it comes to the best jump shots for the swings, uh, let's just hop into it. Now, the most popular base in the game for the swings, for whatever reason, I personally don't prefer it, but I gotta go over it. It's popular for a reason. Everybody love it for a reason. Trace McGrady. Now, Trace McGrady is really nice. Now, one thing that you got to understand on 2K24 that's different from every other 2K pretty much is the shot release or shot visual cue. Like last year you had the shot release timing, this year you had the shot visual cue. Where you're just pretty much timing your jump shot based off a certain visual cue instead of actually timing it based off what your jump shot is. So you can actually have a really fast jump shot but have a really slow visual cue. It can really go hand in hand but it really can mess up some things. So if you put the wrong releases on, you can really make your green window really, really bad. So you gotta make sure you have the right releases. So I use set point. So if I'm using a swing, I'm gonna go with Brandon Popzimski and Larry Bird every single time because that's the best releases for me. The thing about releases in this game, I, in my opinion, it does differ depending on the person. I do think like the most I guess regular releases you can use is gonna be like the Oscars, it's gonna be like the Sadiq Bays. But um, if you do want those bigger green windows, you're gonna kinda wanna go with the Kobe's, the Michael Porter Juniors, the Ke Kyle Corver. Just think of people that can shoot in real life, and those are gonna be pretty much good releases. That's all I'm gonna say. But those some of those extra ones I just said are like tested by 2K Lab, and they said those give you like the biggest green window. My preference though is definitely the Brandon Popzimski Larry Bird combo. Now, I'm gonna always have it very quick. Now, one thing you gotta understand as well if you're a swing, if this, you're new to the game, if you're six foot six and under, you're gonna be able to get very quick. And that's even including the swing six foot five, six foot six. But when you are swing, you can also have a six seven to six nine build and you cannot get very quick. So what I do is I try to go quick on some of mines, even if I'm a six five to six six, just depending on not having no variables, not trying to have my jump shots change because some of my locks, they're all gonna be six seven. 
they're not gonna be 66 so I can't get very quick so if I want that to kind of stay the same across builds I'm gonna go quick instead of very quick that's just something that just I do so if you want to do something like that you can but I try to go max speed every single time because it does speed your jump shot up it does make it a little bit tougher to contest and it does make it a lot easier to get wide opens and then I always go 75 25 always blend it more towards pod Zimski. now let's get into some other bases now let's just hop into the main ones main base toy and prince now this is one i've been pushing for a little minute since 2k pretty much dropped this year uh toy and prince in my opinion one of the best green window jump shots in the game you want to do phase with it you want to do standstills it does not matter catch and shoot it does not matter you can play in any type of way with toy and prince and you're going to be auto magic now you see on this one i have it on quick because i use this on more than just my 6-6 build my 6-5 build i use it on my 6-8 i sometimes use it on some of my 6-9s it's just simple as that so yeah toy and prince pretty perfect for me now uh, if you only gonna have one build and it's gonna be six 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 five you're not really tripping about it being having a variable then go by all means very quick but one thing i want, do want to say when you do slow it down it does increase your green window the slower your jump shot is the bigger green window it is now it is gonna make it easier to get contested though as well so i want that to be understood but um the next one this is another one that i use now this is one i kind of probably use more than the uh, the toy prince one because the toy prince one does have a higher rating now if you look at some of my build videos that i have dropped already i will be dropping more um a lot of my builds do have a 78 three ball um and that's because all i need to get this jump shot is a 78 three ball so that's just kind of what it is um this is the romeo langford shout out to booth to this day if it wasn't for booth i would have never found this base because i was not going to be testing all these bases and all these release combos this year now i found these releases on my own but the reason why i found these releases is because of this base so yeah i just want to make sure that's known um but yeah that i'm gonna always go quick i'm always go 75 25 it's just simple as that now last but not least i had double h here but this was just I don't know why I call that double H and say it there. I was doing a video. I was doing a video where I was testing YouTube with jump shots. Let's just say it came out pretty bad. Now I may still post that. If y'all do want that, just like the video. I did some I did some other big YouTubers too testing their best jump shot videos. And I took their jump shots to the park and pretty much seen what it was like. Let's just say it turned out pretty bad. Let's just say that. I may still post that if y'all want it. But um, this is another, I guess, this is another form of the popular guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you're not going to be saying to, uh, Trace McGrady is popular, I would say JT Thor is in that popular threshold where you got the JT Thor. Another one I would say is the Ben Shepard, which is pretty much the same thing as JT Thor, but the thing is, it gives you better stats. Now, um, like I said earlier, you probably want to go like Sadiq Bay, Oscar Robinson on this but yeah you're gonna you're gonna see a lot more people be using stuff like Sadiq Bays, the Oscar Robinson, the Ben Shepherds, the JT Thors. Now um if you're like the people that be on my guard videos where you be like this jump shot too fast all you gotta do is slow the jump shot down use a different shot visual cue it's a lot of different ways to make a jump shot go slower than what it, what it looked like but I would never tell somebody to use set point with this jump shot if you use a, a, a JT Thor, a Ben Shepard, you're always going to use like a push. You're always going to use like a release. You're never going to use like a set point. Set point is just way too fast. And that's the reason why I don't use these releases. These releases are way too fast for a set point in my honest opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the jump shots, the bases, the releases, the, the speeds, the blendings for all my swing jump shots. All right, next let's hop into it. Now, when it comes to the big man jump shots now let's be real big man jump shots y'all probably got the worst basis y'all could arguably say y'all got the worst releases but that just makes this even more important for you guys to understand what's the best basis what's the best releases what's the best blendings what's the best all that for you guys so let's hop into it so the best base most popular base uh pretty much a base that pretty much is used universally eric pascal now releases when it comes to big men i will say is a little bit different now it's not like swings it's not like guards we get all these different options if you're a big man six foot ten and up you only can go up to normal you can get very slow you can get slow but <laughs> i'm gonna be honest if you're using slow and very slow man seek help you know what i'm saying it's just simple as that but um one thing i will say when it comes to releases you definitely have a lot more 
variance in releases because it's not like you get these crazy you know what i'm saying oscar robinson's where it speeds it crazy you don't get the sadiq bays where it speeds it crazy i think when that actually is solid at speeding it up is jaron jackson mm -hmm. kelly on linux but i don't really like those personally um but um once i like personally speeding it up is the marcus aldridge i may even say going larry bird on a big man can kind of be a little too slow because you can't get that quick you can't get that very quick you only can get normal but since I do use set point, I still like having that Larry Bird. Even when I'm on a guard, I like having that Larry Bird. But you can't do it on a guard, so I just can't. I don't do it. But um, Lamarcus Aldridge, um, Larry Bird, um, but some other ones that you definitely can do, Dirk Nowitzki, Kevin Love, uh, Tim Duncan. Those are definitely some great releases you can go with. But Eric Pascal is the first base I'm going over. Now, next, um, we're going to go with the main, Michael Porter Jr. Now, if you've seen what it was, the requirements, to use the Eric Pascal, you now see the requirements to use the Michael Porter. To use the Michael Porter, you need an 86, but to use the, the actual jump shot, you need an 86. Uh, Eric Pascal wasn't the requirement for that. You needed, for the, use the overall, it was high, way higher than it was to use the base, is what I'm trying to say. But pretty much the same releases. Um, different little blending, but I like using 60-40. Um, if you use 60, 40, 75, 25, you go, it's going to be something that you kind of just got to test on your own. It's going to be kind of a feel thing depending on what jump shot it is, what type of base it is, what type of release combo you use it as well. But those are the, I do tend to use 60, 40 more so than I use 75, 25 on a big because it does have the slower release speed, if that makes sense. But let's go ahead and get into another base, Dwight Power. Dwight Power is a very underrated base in my opinion. I honestly say this is my preference. Um... It's a little bit faster than the Michael Porter Jr., especially since I am using the Lamar Zardes with the Larry Bird. Um, but, yeah, I really do think that these are solid. And then you got the low. You got the Andre Drummond. This is for the low. If, only use this if you can't get the other ones. That's really all I would say for the Andre Drummond. Um, you need a 69 to use the whole thing and a 45 to get the base. And then when it comes to a sneak, uh, the Nasa Zantacumpo, this is just one that's a little bit lower in where you had Eric Pascal. You need the 85. Yeah, Michael Porter, we need an 86, and for this one, you need an 81. It's just another threshold of jump shots. If you have, like, a lower than 80, but you have a higher, high enough to get this instead of the Andre Drummond, you got the Donasis on the Kumpo. Another one I'm going to throw in is Bam. Bam is actually solid, but for bigs, it's just so slow. I'm not going to lie. I see a lot of people saying this is solid, but this is so slow. Um, one I was saying last year that's still good this year is Chris Bosh. I don't even see, bro. Forget it. But yeah, uh, let's hop into it. David Robinson, that's the last one I'm going to definitely say. Um, if you remember in previous years when I did the testing, uh, every single base, I always had David Robinson in it. So people saying in the comments down below this year that David Robinson is back being good, it's actually not a surprise to me because when it came to me doing that on 2K20, one of the best secret jump shots in that game, David Robinson. 2K21, David Robinson. All the way to 2K23, David Robinson has been a really, really solid jump shot. And it is again this year very good so yeah um again some other releases you can do is tim duncan kevin love dirt Nowitzki. um if you want some faster ones kelly olenic jaron jackson um some other bases that i don't really like but a lot of people like jonathan isaac um but yeah that's pretty much what it is i think james johnson is another one but yeah that's pretty much what it is for the big man it's just a little slower don't not too crazy bases some uh, it's a okay releases but it's a lot of variance because it's really depending on what you prefer and what shot visual EQ you're using because that is also very very important all right next is gonna be for the guards um the best guard jump shots i will say this guards y'all got the hot biggest plethora of good releases good bases so it may be stuff i don't say in this video that you can definitely put in the comments down below if it's good because i ain't gonna lie y'all be hooping with those i ain't gonna lie sometimes y'all even put me on like when it came to the big one man one with the david robinson but let's hop into it um best one in the game um I, I would argue this one but i think this is the most popular one the most consistent one the most utilized one stephen curry stephen curry base is just really really solid now um, again, when it comes to releases, it's really depending on what your shot visual cue is. The one I'm most consistent with is Brandon Pawzimski. This is what I love for my swings. Just like on my bigs, I use Larry Bird because this is what I love for my swings. And I like to bring some type of consistency across all my jump shots. So um, when it comes to the shot visual cue I use, I use set point. So that's why I do it like that. Now, if you use anything else but set point, you can go for the fastest release ever because it's not going to matter too much unless you use 
push but even then it's not gonna matter too too much but yeah so um some other releases you can definitely go with Darius garland you got the oscar robinson you can pretty much think of any player all time that shot by the way and they're gonna probably have a really solid green window for your uh, release because that does matter but yeah um i went more into detail on like how important releases are in the swings so i'm not really gonna go too crazy here because i'm gonna be honest it's a lot of releases i even think tony parker is a really solid release it has really uh solid stuff it just slows it down a little bit it's kind of more like the i would say tony parker is more like the the larry bird of the guard so i guess i could kind of do something like brandon popzinski and tony parker and i could get away with that but yeah now with that being said i'm always gonna max speed um if you having an issue with max speed i seen somebody a couple videos ago say um whenever i tap x i got a very late i gonna be honest if that's ever happening to you just slow it down if that's if you don't want to slow it down use a different shot visual cue if you're not messing with the shot visual cue 2k may not be for you this year shooting may not be for you this year just simple as that um i've seen a lot of people say they have issues with a lot of the things with the shooting i don't i seen somebody even say if you can't like 78 three ball not high enough to shoot on this game i don't know what to tell people like i'm gonna be honest now i will say when it comes to guards one thing i will say um that i need to go over to make sure i do go over when it comes to guards y'all have a lot of jump shots but a lot of the good ones are for the higher rating ones which is how it's really supposed to be to be honest so let's hop into a lot more but i'm gonna try to give you some that's actually still on the lower end of the spectrum all right so next one this is the one i mainly use jerry west um i'm actually just thought about it i'm putting myself onto some game right now for future references i may go brandon popzimski with uh tony parker because that's a good substitute for larry bird for a guard so that may be what i start using now I, that probably be auto but what i do use when i use jerry west i don't even use my custom i just do this for y'all i just use jerry west base i don't or not base but i just use the base jump shot i think the base jump shot is just quick and it's just jerry west jerry west like everything's jerry west it's just jerry west i'm just I'm, I'm not doing a custom i'm just using the jerry west jump shot and it's what i use i like that jump shot for me now with that being said if you do want to use releases you want to use set point this is what i would do if i was doing like a um if i was doing a custom to be honest with you but with that being said that's just what it is um you do need an 87 jump shot to use this i had somebody comment on my video what about guys with a 71 three ball i'll be honest man if you're a small guard with a 71 like, i just want to see what your build look like like what is on that build like it can't be too much but dribble it has to be like dribbling taking everything up because what i don't know what else you could even be doing like it's kind of wild but let's give you guys a, a lower end of the spectrum trey burke uh to even use this it would be 85 let's see if i want to throw in a tony parker to lower it a little bit it still would be 84 so it's not like it's changing it too much but yeah uh trey burke is another one for the lower end of the spectrums um no i don't want to back out but yeah if you want to use trey burke you only need an 81 to use the base but yeah that's just that's not too much lower than the jerry west to begin with so let's try something else then you got the john stockton this is another one that i would say is one of the better jump shots in the game i think this is still one of the more underrated jump shots i think a lot of people was using it early in the year but i don't think i see as many people using it no more anymore i think this is maybe even better than curry i like jerry west the most out of all the guard jump shots but i think jerry john stockton is very very odd it's just fast it's just really really fast that's what i'll say um so i can see a lot of people saying that if they tap the button with this one it's, it's saying late and stuff like that i ain't gonna lie but um this is a really really solid one so say for instance you want to use stephen curry but you can't get stephen curry this is the one for you mark your folks all you need is a 79 to put it on and then to put the whole jump shot on that i made pretty much 83 now i'm gonna be honest i don't really know why you having a, a guard with below at 85 i think if you make it a guard you should at least have limitless range if you can't have if you don't have limitless range on a guard then what are we making like like what are we doing you know what i'm saying maybe you're making like a russell westbrook a john morant build i guess i can see that but like i still think since you are playing 2k you probably should want a 75 but even if you're doing something like that i think you need to be trying to understand that if you want to get a good jump shot you have to have a certain rating so yeah that's another thing now another good one for lower rating john wall but this is even higher than the last one um john wall is actually really really good though like you can use this and it'd be almost just as good as like a jerry west i'm telling you this is actually really good trey burke is cool but trey burke is just like t-mac 
but it's the OG. Like, Trey Burke is the original. Like, Trey Burke and Zach Levine, those are the original versions of that. Now they changed Zach Levine to be a different jump shot because of pro play. But it's kind of crazy that pro play, we still have so many jump shots that's still kind of like the same base. So, like, you got T-Mac, you got DeMar DeRozan, you got Allen Iverson, you got Trey Burke. They're all the same base. They're all the very much the same base. So, yeah, but John Wall is actually a really, really underrated jump shot in this entire game. And yeah, it's kind of simple as that. Um, I'm gonna see what it's looking like when you put on Tony Parker. And it lowered it, but it didn't lower it that much, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, then we got the releases. Some other releases, like I said, there's Garland, Oscar Robinson, and then a newer jump shot on the spectrum is Allen Iverson. Now, I'm gonna throw in some extra bases for the swing because I actually did forget. This may be the worst spot to put it in, but yeah. Um, some other swing bases that you can uh, use, J.R. Smith, uh, you got Kentavious Caldwell Pope. You got Kobe Bryant. Um, but when it comes to the most part, um, just think of anybody that can shoot in the league. So like Kyle Corver, Ray Allen. Um, you can do the same thing with guards. You can do the same thing with bigs. And those are probably going to be good bases. You just got to figure out if it's too slow or not. But some people don't really care about that. I see some people say they still use KD even though it's slow. They you still use Dirk even though it's slow. So just use what you're comfortable with. At the end of the day, get you a jump shot and stick with it once you stick with it it's gonna become muscle memory and a jump shot becoming muscle memory on this game is kind of not too crazy but i will be honest when you have a jump shot that's muscle memory and you still look at it because you got to kind of look at it this year more than ever because it's based off visual cue you can kind of see when your jump shot is speeding up this year you can kind of see when your jump shot tweaking this year so even when you know it's visual cue um you can kind of blend your muscle memory with visual cue and you'll be straight i and i've kind of gotten used to that since last year so you kind of just going to adapt a little bit. It just is what it is. You kind of got to adapt. They've kind of tried to change these jump shot times up because it's in. Zens on 2K21, they kind of did ruin 2K in a way. I ain't going to lie. Um, whether it be the vibration getting taken out of the game, whether it be them putting like a million different times in the game, whether you like it or not, Zens did kind of ruin 2K. And it's crazy because people are still using Zens. It's crazy. But yeah, that's just what it is. I ain't going to lie. I seen somebody on one of my shorts say I was using a Zen. I ain't even gonna lie, I've never even seen a Zen. So, yeah, I just know what they are at this point. But, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I think even before 2K21 Hot Take, I think a lot of people were still doing it before then. I think it just got super popular because people was making videos on it. But I think uh, people have been using I know about aimbots on COD, but, like, Zen's the first time I ever heard of a Zen, per se, was on 2K21. But I think it, I wouldn't be surprised if people was using that long before 2K21, to be honest with you. All right, next is the triple pull-up. Now, when it comes to dribble pull-ups, this is very interesting. Um, Trey Young is locked behind starter three, so if you are starter three and up, you can definitely use that. But for the people that really want the best of the best, uh, Pro 2 is really, really popular this year. I, I think it's cool. I tested it for a day. I got used to it eventually. It's all right. I don't think it's nowhere near Kobe, um, but the thing is, you only can use this on swings. If I was a guard and I could get Kobe, I would use Kobe. The only reason I even tried Kobe at the original point of this game, when the game first dropped, was because, like, I'm like, bro, they got Kobe this year? I gotta try that. I know they Kobe on the cover. I gotta get out a chance, and it's very nasty. Uh, MJ I was my favorite one last year. It's still in the game this year. Tyler Hero is still really good this year, so if you want to use that, if you're a guard or a swing, you can still use that. Um, when it comes to... There's another one. Uh, Nate Robinson. If you're a guard, I think Nate Robinson is still really good. I think Ben McLemore is still really good. But for the most part, I think you're kind of chilling. Um, now, when it comes to bigs, y'all don't really have much options. Um, bigs, what I run on my big, I use basic. <laughs> I just use basic. Now, if you want to use dirt, you can throw dirt on. I use basic. Now, you do get KD when you're starter three. That's probably what I actually will use whenever I do that because my big is actually like a KD build. That's what I made it to be. But for the most part, yeah, those are what it is. Now, I will say, if you guys want better, like, animations, like, say, for instance, they have some, like, some of these are literally strictly made, like, Duncan Robinson, Clay Thompson, those are strictly made for whenever you get a catch and you get, like, a bad catch animation, but you want it to be a smooth jumper still. So, Duncan is like that, Clay is like that. So that's one tip I give you guys if you're a person that really don't fade a lot and want to do standstills, but you when you do get a bad catch, you want a good animation off that catch. The fade that you the dribble puller that you have actually does affect that this year. So I want that to be known. So yeah, if you want something smooth, throw on Duncan, throw on Clay. Just look at the guys that's like catching shooters, the Kevin Hoarders. I'm telling you, they're really, really good for that. Alright, next is the spin jumpers. Now, spin jumpers, I'm gonna be honest. The build that I have crazy mid-range on. 
it's either pro or normal, but for the most part, I use pro if I'm on a build that don't really have, like, if I'm not trying to force middies, if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to get a dunk or a three. But this year, midi is so OP, I find myself shooting a lot more middies this year. So, it's a lot of adjustments still being made on this 2K24 stuff. Um, but, yeah, if you really want to go crazy, I would say normal. Um, there's no requirement for normal. You can be anything and be able to put normal on. I don't think you can run normal on bigs, though. I'm pretty sure, that, like, if you try to put it on, like, a center, it won't let you put it on. If you are proud for you may be able to put it on, but I'm not sure of that. But pro, normal are two really good ones. Um, De'Aaron Fox is really, really good. Like, if you're a guard, De'Aaron Fox is probably the best one in the entire game, but only small guards can get that. Uh, Nate Robinson is another one that's good, but De'Aaron Fox washes, like, everything on this game. I'll be honest. This De'Aaron Fox one is stupid. Like, stupid. I really wish I was a small guard just so I can have that. I'm not going to lie. But Dirk Nowitzki is cool uh, for the bigs. Um, and then in basics, you got these as well for bigs. But I would just run either KD or Dirk if I'm a big, being honest. All right, next is the hop jumper. Now, for guards, I've been saying this since day one. It's now becoming like a meta thing for, for guards for like 5v5, which is kind of funny. Davion Mitchell, I think that's by far the best one in the game. It's like the new Kyle Lowry, I guess you could say. Yeah, I, It's kind of crazy. I said that day one. And it actually kind of came through. But when it comes to other ones, I guess, guards you can use, you can use Stephen Curry. Darren Fox is cool, but I think Davion Mitchell is kind of by far the best one. Um, for swings, I think Tyler Hero is pretty solid. I think this may be the best one for swings, honestly, still. But you still got ones like Jimmy Butler, Harrison Barnes, Paul George. Really, really solid. Um, I think one of these pros are really good, but I think the normal is the one that's really, really good. So, yeah, those are the ones I would personally have to recommend. Again, for bigs, I don't think y'all get the normals for whatever reason. It says no requirement, but I don't think you can actually get these. Um, so, the ones I definitely say the best one for bigs is definitely uh, Jokic. But if you can't use Jokic, Dirk is really nasty. I'm not going to lie. Dirk's hop jumper is really good. So, yeah, those are the ones I personally would have to recommend for the hop jumpers. All right, so I've been into it when it comes to the first things first, the dribble styles. Now, for the dribble styles... Um, it's a lot you got to really kind of go over here um, Me personally my dribble style that I use I use pro it don't really matter what build I'm on I could be on a small guard. I could be on a swing you can't use it on a big so I Mean you could but like your big is not getting 75 speed with ball. It's just, it's just not that's not happening, but yeah um, So that's kind of a little bit different for bigs I know a lot of people be saying if you're big you use Gabby Williams and stuff like that, but yeah I'm not really going over bigs in this one for the dribble style but for the dribble style the best one in the game is Kyrie Irving. it's just kind of simply that uh Stephen Curry is good Kobe Bryant is all right you know what I'm saying it's kind of like the speed glitch from 2k21 but much slower not creating nearly as much space but pro in my opinion is the best for misdirection and types of in the way I want to do it now the meta misdirection one is the Mighty Johnson and you probably go against this a lot I've seen a lot of people complain about it I'll be honest me personally um it's not horrible to guard, but I can see what people are saying. Like, especially in a 1v1 scenario, it's really, really tough to guard with the way people want to fade. But with the way, with them supposedly patching fades, it shouldn't be as crazy. It's just going to be crazy for the rim runs for sure, though. But, yeah. I personally like Pro the most. I would probably recommend the most Magic Johnson or Kyrie Irving, though. That's just personal. If you're not going to use Pro. All right, next is the signature size up. Now, signature size up can go a lot of different ways, but let's get into it. So, if you're a guard, you're going to use Steve Francis. You're going to use Derrick Rose. You're going to use Trey Young. I think the most popular one is going to be Steve Francis. The second most is going to be Trey Young. But the one I'm going to use, Derrick Rose. I've been using that since 2K22. So I'm definitely going to still be using that. It's kind of simple as that. It's still too good to this day to not use. Now, when it goes to the swings, you're not going to be able to get those. Those are by far the three best, though. It's just that simple. Like, none of these, I'm going to say, going to be, be anywhere close. So, if you're a guard, you shouldn't even be throwing on nothing else. Unless you want it to be the same. But, I'm going to be real. You're trolling yourself. It's simple as that. Now, when it comes to the swings, um, I would personally say Tracy McGrady's, the John Morant's, the Jamal Murray's, the De'Aaron Fox's. Those are the best ones. you either going to go with the T-Mac, De'Aaron Fox couple of guys, or you're going to go with the John Morant, Jamal Murray. Personally, those are my two favorites. Now, um, you can go with some of these other ones. But those are the four I personally recommend. Now, if you're a big, you can actually get some of these if you're a big. You can get the Pro. You can get, let me see. You can get the Rondo. I know you can get the Luka. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Out of all the ones I bought, you really only gonna get the Rondo. You really only gonna get the Pro. And you really only gonna get the Luka. I think you also can get the Kawhi. But yeah, those are the three I personally would have to recommend if you are a big. I think I honestly use Pro though. I think I honestly do use Pro. Next is the escape moves. When it comes to the escape moves, man, let me hop into it. Um, the best escape moves is gonna be like this. It got tiers. The highest tier is Trey Young. I think Trey Young is the best one in the game. It's the best one. Now, you got that next tier. I think Kimba Walker is in this next tier, but the best one in that next tier, in my opinion, would be Damian Lillard. The thing is, for the builds that get Damian Lillard, you would get Trey Young. Like, you would easily get Trey Young because the only ones that can get Damian Lillard this year is if you're under 6'5". So, it would make sense if Damian Lillard was available for like 6'7s because those can get the 90. But the fact that you can't even get that on a 6'7", it would be in the same tier as the Trey Young. And Trey Young, you only have to be under 6'10", instead of being under 6'5". Another one is Kyrie, that would be the Dame. But again, you have to be under 6'5". Now, De'Aaron Fox is actually a really underrated one this year. But I think that would be in the same tier as Trey Young. And again, Trey Young, in my opinion, is the best one in the game. Now, for that next year, I'm going to have to say Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker, in my opinion... It's, it's really OD. I would say De'Aaron Fox kind of would be in that next year. But again, you need a 91 to be able to have De'Aaron Fox. Now, you can actually get this on a 6'7". I will say that. You can't get Trey Young on a 6'7", but you actually could get De'Aaron Fox on a 6'7", because you need a 91. But Kimmel Walker will be in that next year. Now, another couple of them that I would personally recommend. Um, I would personally recommend the Jimmy Butler. I would personally recommend the Kevin Durant. There were some other ones I would personally recommend, but I guess those are the main ones I would personally recommend. I wouldn't really... Oh, I guess John Moran is good as well, but I would say... I would say just use Jimmy Butler or KD, and you'll be straight, honestly. Um, LaMelo is cool, but yeah, just use Jimmy Butler or KD if you can't get Kimba or Trey Young, personally. Next is the regular breakdown combo. Now, for the regular breakdown combo, it's pretty kind of simple to me. Um, I'm using De'Aaron Fox at all times. I think Luka is underrated one. But I, I'm going to use De'Aaron Fox all the time. If I'm a swing, I'm a guard. If I'm big, I'm using my Luka. Simple as that. Not nothing difficult about it. Next is the aggressive breakdown combo. Again, now this one is a little bit different because a lot more of my builds don't really have this Kobe. But if I'm on a 6'6", six, six, if I'm on a 6'5", if I'm on a small guard, I'm using Kobe. Kobe is the one. But if I can't use that, I'm using the Jamal Murray. Not Jamal Murray, but the John Morant. The Ray for Austin. Or, like I was trying to say, the Jamal Murray. Um, and... You can't use the Jamal Murray. You can't use the John Morant. You can't use the Ray for often if you're big. So you know what I'm using? I'm using Pro. Simple as that. Next is the combo moves. I think you're just going to be using De'Aaron Fox. If you don't get De'Aaron Fox, it doesn't really matter. I don't really find myself doing this too much anyway, on purpose at least. So, yeah. Next is the crossover. John Wall crossover, in my opinion, is the best one in the game. Not really much else to say there. I think Curry, Kobe are restricted. But I still, if I had the option of using these or John Wall, I'm using John Wall. Now, if you're big, you're going to use Kawhi Leonard. That's all it is to say. Let's keep it moving. Next is the behind the back. Now, I say this every single video, but let's hop into it again. If you're doing a moving behind the back up the court, De'Aaron Fox. If you're doing explosive behind the back, Jamal Murray. If you're trying to do both, DeMar DeRozan. Simple as that. Usually, I will say this, the DeMar DeRozan, or not DeMar DeRozan, but the behind the back is like the easiest one to pinpoint which one you're going to use. But this year, they actually made it have more options, and there's even more options between the lines. I just think that if you're using behind the back, the best one is De'Aaron Fox. You're doing explosive behind the back. Only the best one is DeMar, or not DeMar DeRozan, but Jamal Murray. But if you want to do everything together, DeMar DeRozan. That's just what it is. De'Aaron Fox move, exposed behind the back is not good. Um, Jamal Murray moving behind the back is not good. DeMar DeRozan is the only one that has it just as good as both. But I think the Aaron Fox moving behind the back clears the DeMar DeRozan moving behind the back. But I think the explosive behind the back behind DeMar DeRozan and Jamal Murray, I think those are kind of close. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, there also is some other ones like James Harden has a pretty solid explosive behind the back. But those are the ones I personally would recommend. Next is the spin. The moving, or, yeah, the spin, the, I would probably have to tell you guys to put on is the John Morant. I like the Jamal Murray. I like the DeMar DeRozan. But I'm going to have to say the John Morant is the best one in the game. Now, you can't use any of these unless you're pretty much a swing or a guard. You can use Penny, though. You can use Jason Tatum if you are a big. I think I actually use Jason Tatum on my big. Next is the Hezzy. Now, for the Hezzy, for everybody that wants the best Hezzy. Now, I will say this. 
Hezzy, it can be really underrated because by far the best one is Ja Morant. But if you want to get a little glitchy, get a little freaky with it, I think the Chris Paul is one of the best ones in the game in terms of having fun because you got the little sh <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You got the little <laughs> and then you got the Jamal Murray, the Ant, the DeMar DeRozan. All these are really good, but the one that's the best one in the game, I will not cap. It is the John Moran. Next is the step back. I have two to give y'all, Chris Paul and John, John Wall. It really depends on which one you got used to. I think the Chris Paul is good. I just think the John Wall is better. It's a quicker one. You create more space. You go more linear instead of going more to the side where Chris Paul goes more to the side. But sometimes the John Wall, for some people that can't shoot from deep, you know what I'm saying? It may mess up you. Well, for me, I like the John Wall. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to snatch. I'm trying to create space. And that's what it's going to do for me. It's kind of simple as that. But if you want to do it more so to get downhill and stuff like that, Chris Paul may be better. But, yeah. Stephen Curry is also another good one if you're a guard. But I'm saying for more overall builds, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, and then if you are a big, I think Vince Carter is the best one. Yeah, Vince Carter is the best one. And then last but not least, the triple threat style. Come on. Stephen Curry, McFlurry. Um, they need to drop the MJ as a regular. I don't know why they did the starter three. That's just kind of proof that 2K kind of be they kind of be clicked in but it's kind of lame that they made that because i don't know anybody else really using michael jordan for as long as i've been using it bro i've been using this joint since like whatever how long triple threat style been out i've been using michael jordan you got the one hand palm they even but and then last but not least the pass style now if you've seen my builds i've been going 79 pass accuracy but i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of like you know what i'm saying like i kind of wish i kind of went a little bit higher to get certain badges I kind of wish I didn't try to go for just De'Aaron Fox because I'm not going to lie. It's just kind of it what it is at this point. But I'll say this. De'Aaron Fox is still probably in my top five. But it, it, I'm going to be honest. This pass style stuff fluctuate by the day. I cannot cap. But with that being said, De'Aaron Fox is still uh, is like the best bang for your buck in my opinion. It's either that. You got John, John Morant that gets out your hands, arguably the fastest in the game. You got the Sabonis, that's really another one that's bang for your buck. You got Jokic, that's another one that's bang for your buck. But then you got the ones like Tyrese Halliburton. Then you got the ones like LaMelo Ball, where it just kind of gets tough. And then you got ones like Matt Johnson, where it kind of takes a little bit longer to get out your hands. But the pad, the ball speed is just unbelievable. So it's a lot you can go with. Jason Williams also is another one, but you need a 90 pass, I can see for those. But it really kind of depends on your preference. If you're throwing lobs, I personally wouldn't even recommend Tyrese Halliburton and LaMelo. They got some really bad animations in my opinion. So it's really on you. That's why I do like De'Aaron Fox so much because it's a balance of everything in terms of changing your teammates' jump shots, in terms of good animations on lobs, good just regular pass animations, getting the ball out your hands. It just has a balance of everything for me. But when it comes to just getting your ball out your hands, having fast pass animations, Tyrese Halliburton and LaMelo Ball are the best ones. The only thing that kind of draws back is the fact that they have some really bad lob pass animations in my experience. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, so hopping into the layer package. When it goes to the layer package, y'all was going crazy in that comment section of me ranking every single layer package. Now, um, like I said, when it came to Trey Young, I was talking about how the floaters are crazy. I just, I guess I wasn't ranking them based off of what's overpowered in the game. I was just ranking them based off of how much you could do with every single layer package. Now, y'all was killing me for the Julius Randle. Y'all was killing me for the Trey Young. So let's just get into it. If you're a guard, the best enemy, the best layer package in the game, supposedly, according to y'all, is Trey Young because you can just make anything Trey Young. Now, the reason is y'all was saying was kind of wild. Y'all was saying y'all was making heavily contested layups with Trey Young. Why y'all taking heavily contested floaters? With Trey Young. I don't know. But maybe he just has a bigger green window. I don't know. I, I'm going I'm to believe y'all on that. I personally still would probably go with Kyrie. I personally still may go with, um, what's it called? Uh, the Allen Iverson actually is a really solid layer package as well. But I think I like the, I like the Trey Young overall. I didn't like it as much as y'all. Y'all saying it's the best one. I got to give y'all y'all props, okay? We're going to let y'all have that. Let me know if y'all mess with it for the people that hasn't been using Trey Young in your regard. Now, when it comes to the swings, it's a lot you can go over. But me personally, I'm gonna have to say it's gonna be Jimmy Butler. Um, I'm starting to think it, I'm starting to create a little bit of distance with Jimmy Butler. I like the Euros, I like the floaters, I like the scoops. The scoops is probably the worst of the two when it comes to the Anthony Edwards. I think Anthony Edwards definitely has better scoops. But overall, I think Jimmy Butler is nice. Um, Kobe Bryant is nice. It's some nice uh swings, but I think Jimmy Butler is my favorite of everything on the swings. If you guys have something y'all want to say on that. Y'all can put that in the comments down below like y'all did with the Trey Young and the Julius Randle. 
Now, when it comes to the bigs, I think the bigs best one is a uh, again another one like Kyrie, where you have to be starter three to get it. The Sabonis, but if you can't get Sabonis, I think it's Giannis Antetokounmpo personally. Um, that's just me. If that's a hot take, make me hot. I don't know and take it. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. But yeah, that's the best slips in my opinion in the game. Now, when it comes to the best dunk packages in the game, now I now have a build that has a super high dunk. This is not the build. But, yeah, um, I kind of dropped a teaser for it already in its own video. But, yeah, in its own right. But, with that being said, uh, when it comes to the best dunk packages, if you're going to go for two hands, I think the quick drop in back scratchers is the one you want to go with. And to combo that with the LeBron James is the best combination of dunk packages you can have. It does have some bad ones. If you could get, like, these dunks where you jump dunk from so far out on more, like, if you if there was, like, an actual dunk package, I don't, I've been trying my hardest to find what package it is. I personally think it's this dunk package the uber athletic off ones but the uber athletic off ones they don't they don't dunk from as far cons as consistent as the lebron and they have some more bad animations than lebron so i just find myself just using lebron also because look it's a 90 driving dunk requirement with a 70 vertical when the lebron all you need 84 64 so yeah it's kind of just what it is now you can't use this if you're a guard your guard, I say the replacement for LeBron would have to be, would have to be then the Tomahawk. But if you're not going to use the Tomahawk, then I would just use the Westbrook. Kind of that simple. Another decent one is the Clyde Drexler, but yeah. Um, and it's kind of has the same requirement, and you can use it as a guard, so you can also use that as well if you're like on the smaller end of the X spectrum. But some people just go with the Clay Thompson, they be straight. So if you want to do that, you can go with the Clay Thompson. Another one that's like Clay Thompson that you can go with, uh, Manu Ginobili. So yeah, um, that's just kind of a thing. Um, that's just what I say. Um, now, when it comes to two hands, like I said, quick drops. Um, if you're a starter three, you can get quick drops off one. I probably will be putting that on, but yeah. Now, if you don't know, when you do flashy dunks, you do get a little bit bonus to your takeover. So, yeah, and if you have teammates on your team that use sponge, it's going to give them a bonus to their takeover as well if you do a flashy dunk. So, you can put on some of these part dunks and you go crazy with them. Um, I get mine off of the, I guess, the contact dunks. So, I try to put on as many as I can. Um, on my higher dunk rating build, I don't really care too much about doing that. But, yeah, I'll put on as many as you can. Now, for the alley it's kind of the same thing. Um, I put on Elite and Zion because the Pro is a little bit slower. I don't want it to mess up my timing. So, that's kind of what it is. And when it comes to the alley -oops, I would say more so than the content else, you want to put on these as many as you can. But me, I'm just a little, I just want to have the craziest content on animation that possible. So, I just put on the Elite. If I only get Pro, I put on Pro. Obviously, I just put on what I can. But if I can get the Elite, I just put on the Elite. Because I want the nastiest contact alley I can get. I could possibly get, and I don't have the elite content dunk, so it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? But yeah. When it comes to the big man dunks, the big man dunks, I find myself using dunk two hand under basket regular. Another one I've been finding myself use is the pro under basket rim pulls, but those are the only ones I really would recommend. Um, and then when it comes to the contact out, uh, contact standing, it's kind of the same thing. You don't really want to put on both of these if you have the option to do so. But if you want to get a little bit freakier, have a nastier animation, more more than none. Just put on at least standing bigs and try to get crazy. Now, I will say this. The the dunk meter standing dunks are... I'm not going to say it's easier than driving because driving is pretty easy right now. I'm not going to lie. I honestly think they need to nerf. I feel like where they had it at the beginning of the year was fine. But y'all complained about like the game like y'all always do. And the game is it's, it's gotten increasingly worse every with every patch and y'all do this every single year i'm honestly i'm ready for gta 6 at this point i'm not gonna cap i, I like people I, I bro you don't even know who's having a zen people telling me i got a zen i i don't even know what a zen even look like in person so I, it was just kind of wild i, I ain't gonna lie uh, like y'all really do be ruining these 2ks i can't cap but yeah that's the best dunk packages in the game all right next is post fade i think a lot more people gonna be using these post animations this year post is overpowered this year with the midi being what it is Come on, post fade. Um, I think I think the best post fades personally is like the Kobe, the uh, the Jordan. Um, that's ones I would use. Some people may use even Dirk. I would probably use Kobe or Jordan. That's just really what it is. Jokic one is actually pretty solid as well. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I, De Demar Derozan actually has a really good one as well. 
Um, but yeah, those are the ones I personally recommend for the post fade. I have Pro 2 on, but that's just because I just don't use post to be real on this build. But yeah. Next is the hook. Um, the best hooks, you got Vucevic and B Kareem. Those are the only ones you even need to worry about. You're toxic as hell. I don't even want to talk too much about this. You want to be toxic with these joints, go crazy. They're really good this year. Again, they uh, patched them at one point, and then they buffed them again because apparently close shots needed to be buffed they kind of got messed up when they nerfed post six apparently that's what mike wing said and they buffed them again and now they're still they're back to being overpowered again they're not unguardable because defense in this game is really good don't let anybody on this game on this game tell you that defense is not good there's more to defense this year than just pressing x even though everybody wants to do that but yeah next is the post hop shot uh you got kobe you got the dirk those are the two I personally recommend. Nothing else you really even need to think about. Nothing else you even need to look at. Nothing else you need to even talk about. All right, next is going to be the motion styles. Now, for swings, in my opinion, the hands down best one, my favorite one is Kawhi Leonard. Now, if you want to run faster, do Dennis Rodman, but do run so crazy, I can't use that. But another good one is Justice Winslow. If you're big, Justice Winslow is another one I would personally recommend. And if you're a guard, De'Aaron Fox, Stephen Curry. That's the motion styles I personally would recommend. But yeah, I like the I like the defense the motion styles that have like different defensive stances more so than if they run faster or not. Because sometimes when they run faster, they just run weird as hell. And I just can't look at that. For me personally. But if you guys just want one that just runs extremely fast, go ahead throw on Dennis Rodman. But if you guys want ones with different defensive stances, you got Justice Winslow, Andre Godala, Kawhi Leonard, and Elite. And you can run Elite, I believe, on any build. Let me just scroll up. I think you can run this on bigs. If you can't, then that's kind of tough. But you can run just is Winslow. No, you only get elite on guards and swings. So that's just kind of what it is. And if you don't want to swing, get swing at six for five to six for now. But yeah, man, that should be in this video. It should be multiple codes, whether you're on PlayStation, whether you're on Xbox, in this video. Just to show y'all the thankfulness I am for having y'all boys support the channel so much. Um, but yeah, if y'all do want more, <laughs> simple. Like the video. Hope you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I've been posting every single day on the backup. I've been streaming. Links to everything is in the description. Hope y'all boys do enjoy. Like I said earlier in the video, if y'all do want another video like this, but for y'all boys to get y'all bills up to 99 as fast as possible, just like the video. Show the support. Subscribe. Comment down below. Whatever it takes to support. I really do appreciate it. Y'all boys show so much support. I really do appreciate it. Without further ado, though, man, it's your boy Fitz. Out to me, man. <laughs>